from downtown Bethesda, Maryland, from uh, from the worldwide headquarters of YAA. It's Zach. Where the hell are you going? The green screen, man. What about it? It's got to cover everything. What do you mean it's got to cover everything? What's it not covering? It's covering your face. Huh? Uh, what? All right. What? Um, sorry, we having... licensed this image. Actually, I probably shouldn't joke about that. It obviously is a stock photo. Here's the deal, man. Yeah, yeah. We didn't even see this coming. We what? didn't even see it coming. What? what? To be honest, and first, let's also say good evening to Steve. Yeah. Good evening to Chris. Yeah. Rob is here. Space. <laughs> Ben's here. <laughs> Jay Nagami. Uh, B. Morant. Oh, not B. Morant. Thank you, everyone, for being here with us. Sorry yeah. about uh, the past few live streams. It's been a little MIA, but we are back in action tonight. And here's the deal, Pops. Yeah. Now might actually be a decent time to buy a car. It might actually be a decent time to buy a car. Okay. I'm I'm, 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 I'm waiting for why you might say that. All right. So here's the deal. We yeah. Got the you chart. keep saying here's the deal. Come on. I'm coming with the deal. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. Go to Costco. Great deals. So the, genuinely what I'm thinking is we've got new data that talks about slowing sales rates in automotive. Like the, the sales rates last month in February, this month in February, bad, not good. You've got a softening used car market because there's less demand. You still have the chip shortage. So that's hurting everything that's going on on the new car side. But if you need, still need, absolutely need to buy a car, yeah. it might be better to do it today than it will be 6, 8, 12 months from now because every single indicator we're looking at says it's going to get worse. Chip shortage isn't looking better. There's uh, there's obvious uh, instability in the greater world. Like it's the greater be... world, not in the world. The greater world. What the hell's greater than the world? See, I got it. I got it. Why? Why do, do you do you agree or do you disagree with my assessment? In, in re to now might be a better time to buy a car. Yes. Uh, no. So Maybe I, I you know for like. Do you the, really think it's going to get any better this year? Well, I think the chip shortage is. I think the supply chain issues are are going to get worse. Okay. Did you not see Toyota news today? They literally you, you, had a cyber you, attack. You know I saw Toyota news today. I did this with you earlier. You know, having to do two of these in a day, seven hours apart. Yeah. And then pretend like I wouldn't know. Yes, I know. But my my point is is that they're they're going to when we spoke to David Chow and we were talking about chip shortages and supply chain issues and things of that nature. Um, you know, that that's assuming when he said, hey, he thinks by the second half of this year or the fourth quarter of this year, maybe the first quarter of next year, that there'll be much more chip supply than what people would have thought and we'll really see a lessening of the issue. When he said that, he wasn't anticipating that the world might go to hell in a handbasket yeah. because Russia invaded Ukraine. I, okay. You know, when we do these streams, I don't know if they listen. Let's not talk about it. Let's not name it explicitly. Let's get, let's give it a pet name or something. Only because I think they then like demonetize it or take it away from people. So. Okay. So, so the, there's instability. So, so he didn't, he didn't take into consideration that, that there might be. Um, instability. Just insta instability. In, instability. Yeah. Uh, chaos. Yeah. Um, you know. Uh, uh, no, no we, yeah. we, you've literally said right it three ways now. It's good. Yeah, no, we're good. So, and and that that instability um, could exacerbate the supply chain issue. It will. Um, so that it, it turns out that in this part of the world where the instability is at the moment, um, uh, this country produces 90% of the world's phosphorus that they use for neon or what was nope. it? Neon. Neon. Neon that they use for phosphorus. That too. So so that so that there could be an issue where there and, and they need that neon uh, for the production of semiconductors. Okay. I want to take a moment here, uh, Eric. Thank you. Thank you, Eric. Nice headshot, Eric. Yeah. Just took delivery on my... Are you a realtor? Because that looks like a great realtor's headshot. Just took delivery on my 2022 Toyota Corolla Cross two weeks ago. Very thankful to YA and the community for helping with my first vehicle purchase. That is going to get the first of what will hopefully be many. A series of... Stamp of approvals. Congratulations, Eric. That is yes, very... Yes, nicely done. And thank you so much for the donation. So, yeah. So, you're 100% spot on that. Reuters was the first one that published the article about um, making us... us you know, common folks here uh, become aware. Uh, I'm saying us, uh, be making us aware that hey, 
did you know that the Ukraine produces 90% of the uh, neon that's used in microchip production for the advanced chips in North America? First thing was I had no clue neon was one of the inputs. And then you got- and you would and you would think like the neon center of the universe would be in Las Vegas. <laughs> and it's fascinating. I, I was doing some research on this actually. Part of the reason why the neon um, uh, production ca- capacity is there, so yes. centralized there, yeah. is because during the previous Soviet Union, they thought that that was going to be a primary component of some of the potential weapons or things that they were producing. So they put a lot of money into it. Turns out, you don't make weapons out of neon. You make semiconductors out of it, which you could use in your weapons. Evidently. If you wanted to. Now, another thing that's going on, let's talk about the to- what happened with Toyota. This is, so obviously, I don't want to say obviously, I'd imagine most people that are watching this are watching the news and they're hearing about what's going on in the world. Got it. Yes. When there's big disruption like that, there's going to be ramifications. Yes. Understood. What happened to Toyota today? Cyber attack. And I think it's, I and hate, it was I don't, Saturday. I Saturday. I don't yeah. want to say it's underreported, but I mean, it, it should be a big it story. It should be a big, it's, yeah, it is. You know. Toyota shut down all 14 of their manufacturing plants in, in their Japan. home country of Japan. Yes. There is currently, right now, as of this moment, no domestic production of Toyotas happening. Yes. This is a company that has the track record of being the stalwart, you know, being the bell at the ball of the – let me let me give you one more. Um, being the uh, – No uh, The Jimmy Garoppolo of, of production. Ah, they don't play hurt, but when they play, they play well. <laughs> Not a Jimmy G fan. It's all good. No, but I mean, it's incredible to think. No, he did play her. I take that back. Yeah, it's incredible to think that all Toyota production is now. Let me pull up the article actually, and I can I can share that with everyone here. Let me. And it it represents about uh, ten thousand vehicle that it impacts, loss of vehicles that it impacts on a daily basis, which gives you some ideas the power that Toyota has in their home country. Uh, you know, that they literally can be producing. Okay, I said it was under report. Look at this Reuters. Yeah. Toyota suspends domestic factory operations after suspected cyber attack. NPR, Wall Street Journal, Ars Technica, BBC, New York Times, BBC. So, <laughs> wait a second. Okay, seven hours ago, four hours ago, six hours ago, three hours, ten hours ago. I mean, my God, we did it seven hours ago. We broke it on our show seven hours ago. He's got a point. You know, I I mean, what, are they waiting to hear it from us first? Does the New York Times need to hear it from us first to know that it's legitimate? So this is why, to be clear, this is why I think right now represents. Did I just call out the New York Times? You did. You did after calling out Jimmy G. Mm. This is why I think. And, and. To be clear, my assessment of this is not just me sitting in a room thinking, hey, I'm talking to our team, the folks that are on the ground helping car buyers out left and right every single day. Yes. There are deals to be had, money to be saved, yes. dealerships willing to you negotiate. You work at it. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's not, it's not that, that, that every dealer is going to roll over and play dead for you at, at high. Hello, I want a discount. They're going to make you work for it. And, the and thing some is- dealers won't, <clears throat> regardless of how hard you work, they're not going to give it to you. Well, then that's not the dealership you do business with. To be clear here, yeah, I still don't think it's a good time to buy a car. I simply think it's going to get worse. Okay. Well, yeah, I could. I think there could be. I think there could. What be. indicator do you see that this year is going to be better than last year? We ran the chip numbers this morning on the yeah. on the Daily Show. Yeah. Back on the Rain Zach channel. Yeah. They just get worse every week. They get worse. We've yes. seen this story play out before. Yeah, we saw it play out last year. I mean, you know, with with the the conflict. The conflict. Um. You know the the uh, instability, the instability, the the cyber attacks, the the uh, continued uh, difficulty in producing enough chips, and and maybe not being able to get your hands on the neon you need uh, to be able to produce chips. I I don't see anything on the horizon at the moment that would suggest um, that things are going to improve. I, I think they're going to get worse before they get better. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. I think that's the reality. Yeah. And and it also turns out that, and I had no idea, uh, Ukraine is a country where they produce a lot of parts for automobiles. Um, I'm guessing right now they're not producing many. Yeah, I think that's the uh, that's the unfortunate reality. Now that yeah. being said, I do want to reiterate: like there are deals to be had. This this the success stories channel back on the community forum, nearly 300 success stories posted so if you're thinking about buying a car yeah. and you want to understand okay what's a realistic deal in today's market every every day every day there are new success stories yes 
that, that upper re- respiratory illness is is rapidly three weeks in now. Yeah, this A5 better. to SQ5, this is a hell of a deal. Um, yeah. Best warranty price. Anyway, so there are deals to be had. I think that's the realization that I'm having, Dad. Tomorrow we get the latest numbers from Black Book. Yes. That's going to be really, really telling. If those numbers... And, and and actually, I'll pull them up so that we can reference them here. For seven weeks now, wholesale used car prices six have been falling. Seven weeks, yeah, six, yeah. I'll pull it up on the screen. Give me one second. So for the past six or seven weeks, we've seen wholesale prices below this red line. Wholesale used car prices. Yes. Last week, wholesale used car prices dropped 0.82%. The week before that, 0.84%. We are seeing significant softening in the used car in, market. In, in the prices that dealers are paying for pre-owned cars at the auctions. Yep. And if you see interest rates continue to go up and if you continue to see conflict in the greater world, I don't see why just, there's... Just say the world. It's not the in the greater world. In, in the world. What the hell is the greater world? Amy, we are not necessarily saying it's going to get worse. We just think it's going to get worse. Yeah. So I guess we're telling you. I think there's... Worse. Amy, I, I think there's, there's, there's things that are beyond anyone's control that will impact uh, manufacturers' abilities to be able to produce the number of cars that they had intended. But if you are if you're in the market right now for a 2019 yeah. Kia Forte, yeah. Now's the time. I mean now, yeah, the next 2 weeks or so could be the time. I mean I don't I don't see any indication that would say you should wait 6 weeks. You should wait 3 months. If anything, you no, get I, I I think you know, in 2 more weeks we'll be into the spring selling. Well, literally three weeks if you want to be technical about it. Yeah. Um, when we actually when when spring will have sprung, um, you know, we'll be in the we'll be in the heart of the spring selling season when car prices traditionally tend to go up uh, because demand tends to go up in the spring selling season. So, you know, I I I think there might be a week to two week window here where some dealers have been sitting on cars for a while and they're getting, as you like to say, cold, itchy feet. Yeah, like this one. Been sitting on it for 73 days. The, I'm looking at Kia Fortes right now. Yeah. This one, 38 days. Yeah. You know, they, these are the ones to be looking at to look at the price history. Let's scroll down here. Hey, Space. Hey, Mario. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that right there. Yeah. This is a perfect example. This car was initially listed for sale yes. at the end of January for $20,288. Yeah. Then they discounted it. Three hundred dollars. Then they discounted well, another. That looks like four hundred, but that's okay. Three hundred. You're right. Yeah. And then they discounted another four hundred. Three hundred. Four hundred. Four hundred. Yeah. Neither one of us can do, apparently. Four hundred. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The bigger you make it, the bigger that four becomes. Um, but so yeah. So there. This there's is a, a perfect. There's example. a dealer that looks at their inventory and is looking at it every 10 to 15 days to say, are we getting enough action on this car? If we're not, then we need to lower the price. Now, that's not to say, and well, it might be to say at this particular dealership because they're typically a non-negotiating dealership. Um, how'd you how'd you pick that up so fast? It's because it was Fitz, Fitzgerald. Man, and, you're quick, dude. Yeah, and they're you know their price is their price, um, because that's that that's their business model. Um, but you can see that that they take a look on a regular basis as to the interest in their vehicles and adjust their prices accordingly. Definitely. Now, typically, since that's not a negotiating store or their stores are not, uh, you know, you certainly could take another run at them and say, so let's let's just assume that you had this car another 15 days, what do you think you would lower the price to then? And say, well, you know, how about we just do that today? You know, I'm kind of curious. Also, want to give a quick shout out. Um, that's Space. A.K.A. Mario. So, hey, Mario. A.K.A. Space. So thanks for being a part of our community, Mario. Yes. And thanks to you for coaching us here yes. on the uh, uh, vehicle search. I copied the VIN really quick. Amy, because, because we've made Amy feel distraught. We're going to now... Try and help Amy as best as we possibly can. I'm logging into my account. I want to run the black book number on this. Okay. Um, Thank God you have an account. Oh, wait, I have an account too, but they want money from me. I don't <laughs> get it. They won't let me run anything on mine. <laughs> How, allegedly, I'm an advisor to the business or something. You're just the dad. You should pay us. That's there, how, you, that's I how. did for the first 18 months, buddy. Uh, <laughs> Look at this, actually. Yeah. Black Book says a, a fair retail value right now for that vehicle is somewhere from between 18, 18, 5, and 21. 
21 2. And what are they asking? 19 588? Yeah, and you're out the door is going to be 21 yeah. with, so, with taxes so, and fees. This yeah, is so, a decent. So they're, they're, not being, uh, they're not being too terribly. Uh, but this would be the way to, Amy, now is the time. This is, and then use the email templates and everything, you know, contact yes. the dealership. Because some of the newer ones, like, yeah, like this one, this one, the price history is going to be the price. Like the price is the price on this. It's been on the market for, for two days. Where okay, was yeah. Three well, days. I'm pretty sure they're not reducing the price just yet. No, no. And yeah. it's Coons. They're not. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. All right. There you go, Amy. I felt bad, but now I don't feel as bad. Let's scroll back up here, Pops. Excuse me. Yes. Brominated vegetable oil. Wow. Thank you for the kind contribution. <laughs> Maybe another anecdote for the pile, but while I had my car in for service at the dealer, I was talking to the salesman that sold me my car. He said things are not normalizing until summer 2023. I bet you that's a little bit of brand specificity, for example. Big. For example, brominated vegetable oil. Um, if you take your car to a Subaru dealership, I bet you'd hear that. You take it maybe to, I don't know, like an Audi dealership. You might get a sl- – no, no, Audi had a 1,000 Audis burned down in that boat the other day. Yeah. Um, yeah. Was it a 1,000? They had 1,100 Porsches. It was 1,800 Audis or 1,900 Audis, 1,100 yeah. Porsches. Yeah, yeah you, know, you know, but what? they're waiting to see which ones they can salvage. No, so, he, you know, there's there's probably a lot of validity there. there yeah, really no, is. There, there is, I'm sure. 2022, 2023 yeah. of next year, yeah. excuse me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Arturo with a quick question. Can one personally hire you slash FaceTime to negotiate my next purchase? My dad doesn't know what FaceTime is, um, but you know what FaceTime is? No. <laughs> yeah. You know what FaceTime is? Well, it's, uh, you have to have an Apple product. Yeah, you don't have an yeah. iPhone. Yeah, but you can you could do the same thing with the with Google Meet or, or Google You or Google something. I mean, they have the Android version of FaceTime. Um yeah, I guess they do. Well, no, they, Arthur, they we we um we unfortunately we don't offer that service. However, I will share with you just briefly. The YAA membership is a great resource. Um, a tremendous resource. What you get with this, just to be clear, is um, access to our where is it here? Our coaches. Um, so if you scroll down the page, we've got plenty of different coaches. My dad yeah. being one of them. So if you post on the community forum, if you use our but live can chat, can I be honest? Yeah, yeah. My my coaching normally takes place during live chats and live broadcasts yeah, yeah, it I, I i don't know i don't credit sp- to... i don't spend the time on the forums the way kimberly and mario and and phil and justice do yep. i just i just don't 100 yeah. percent. but there you go archer that's how we can help you out if that's something that you're interested you know, I'm supposed in. to be retired i don't know if anybody's aware of that you were for a hot minute all right let's see if we can yeah. answer a few questions here yeah. In yeah. the chat as well. We've got from Turbo from Connecticut. <clears throat> Do you think that June or July would be a good time to buy after the tax money for the spring buy has dried? I, I don't think so. I don't see it. I, I think we're going to see more shortages than we had originally anticipated. And and let's be it let's... depends. It depends on how hmm. how long the instability um, were to continue in certain parts of the I think it's world. equal parts the instability and, and equal parts like the ongoing crisis from last year. Like, I don't know. It's not, it's not, it hasn't been resolved. Exactly. Like we have seen no indication. We'll be, you know, a very interesting thing that we'll have eight days from now, nine days from now, automotive news puts out their monthly updates for inventory levels. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to compare that to last month. I'm not expecting to see anything drastically different. And let's, let's be like, I know this isn't like the end all be all, but you're starting to see these types of headlines. Yeah. Lucid cuts 2022 production goal, misses delivery target. Like I could pull up the Toyota one where they talk about how they're going to miss, they missed their January goal yeah, and, and, and they're uh, expecting to miss their annual goal now. Yes. Like yeah. that's a very different headline than what we saw last year. So even the positioning from these big corporations and Lucid's not a big By the way, that's a, that's a, that's a very attractive looking automobile that you can't get your hands on, but, but there will come a time when perhaps you may. Can I show you something? Certainly. Back to vehicle search really quick. We added, the team added this. The team. Go to drivetrain, transmit. Nope. Go to somewhere. Go to engine. Engine. Nope. No. Go to fuel and performance. Yep. Electric. You can now just toggle electric vehicles. Wow. What's the most expensive electric car we have in our listings right now? I'm kind of curious. The Lucid that you can't get your hands on. Oh, a Model S. An e-tron Sportback, a Taycan. Wow. No lucid that I can yeah. see. Yeah, but you know, there's a there's a heck of a lot of them for just under hundred. <laughs> yeah, interesting. Yeah. Anyway, I thought I'd show you that. Yeah, yeah. I, I, what was Volkswagen's tagline at one time? Hmm. Uh, the every everybody's 
every person's or something like that. You know, a car anybody could afford. And 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 now we have like all these electric vehicles, and it's like a car nobody can afford. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. Oh, okay. You know what? You're bringing up a really good point that also um, uh, hits on why I think now is a better time to buy than later on this year. Okay. Look at this article from Stellantis. Yeah. The headline from Stellantis. Yes. The one Parts- where they want their they they want their vendors to eat any cost increase. <laughs> We've talked about this on the show before. Yes. Making EVs is more expensive yes, than is. making internal combustion vehicles. Yes. The chips are more advanced. Sure, there's less mechanical parts, but it's more expensive to produce the vehicle. Yes. Stellantis is saying it's so much more expensive. Well, you know what? Suppliers, you guys figure that out because we're not figuring it out for you. Like, There's about to be, I think, a, a pretty significant rift as we move towards EV, which, to be clear, me and my dad, we don't care if you drive an EV or an ice car. Like That doesn't matter to us whatsoever. It's abundantly clear that the industry is moving towards electric It's, it's going to move to, towards electric whether I want it to or not. It doesn't matter to us. Uh, yeah, I don't, you know, I mean, you know, we're, we're in the car business per se in the, in the sense that we want to help you uh, lower your costs of buying a car and giving you some tips on how to do that, whether that be an internal combustion engine car or a fully electric vehicle. But hear me out here. A it's battery getting, electric vehicle. It's uh, getting more expensive to produce those vehicles. Of course And it there's going to be more conflict between the OEMs and their suppliers and actually producing yeah. them and setting up the new pricing schemes around them as well. Another reason why I think now where the market's like kind of soft and you can negotiate, go take advantage of it. And you can see this. Leanne, I'm looking around before buying a used and new car. CarMax dropped three thousand dollars from the listed price after a month. Like that's what we're seeing now. Yes. Doesn't mean that things represent a good value. No, we're not saying that. We haven't. You know, the one thing we have been consistent on um, is that you shouldn't it, buy a car. Is that you shouldn't buy a car? I, you know, I keep harping on it, um, but if you if you absolutely positively need to buy a car. Okay, need. This is stopbuyingcars.com, okay? Or one of our websites. Um, that if you need to buy a car, the next two weeks might be um, a little less expensive for you than yep. going at some point after that. Our advice is if you don't need to buy a car and you just want to buy a car, do yourself and everybody else a favor and take yourself out of the market. And more people are, obviously. Yeah. That's why the, we're seeing the prices. The more people come down. that take themselves out of the market, the harder it becomes for the dealers to justify the additional dealer markup that we've been seeing. Yep. Absolutely. So, yes. So you need, as 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 I've said before, and somebody said in a comment to me, you have to fight your urges. You know, like, you know, hey, really, I'd really like to probably have a drink right about now, but, you know, it's water. Brad, thank you for the kind contribution. We thank appreciate you, Brad. your continued support. All right. So here, let's keep going through. Sean saying I'm an indefinite holding pattern for that. Yeah, nothing wrong with yeah. that unless you absolutely need to. Um, Larry just put a deposit down on a Toyota Tundra Capstone. First one to do so in Western Washington. Congrats, wow. Larry. Congratulations yeah. to you. Very nice looking. Man. Steven Garman buying a new 2022 Yukon Denali when searching one dealer was asking for a $20,000 markup. And that that's the mm. other thing. That's just dealers asking. Okay. They're asking. They're 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 not well in some cases they're demanding it, but they're asking. They're hoping that you'll agree to it. And that if you don't agree to it, then then maybe they'll talk to you about reducing that 20 down to 15 or 10. Well, whatever they reduce it down to, even if they reduce it down to five thousand dollars, they're still making five thousand dollars more than they should have been, than they ever to have been. Um, you know, but it's it's like anything. The dealer is going to ask. Same as the customer has to do. If the dealer asks, you ask for something. It's pretty simple. Let me find this really quick. It's it's very relevant to what we just shared there. Give me one second. Do, 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 this was posted back on the community forum. Again, me and my dad are almost like figureheads at this point. We don't even know what's going on. Chicago area. I'll speak for myself. I don't really Thank know. Thank you. <laughs> because I, I, I was in the industry for 43 years, and I proved conclusively I never knew what was going on. Just so this, ask all the dealers. This was a month ago. Yeah. Pill. Contacted yeah. 21 Honda dealerships. I don't know if this spreadsheet still works anymore. No, I don't have access yeah. to it. Um, he put together a spreadsheet. Yeah. 
the spread, and by spread, I mean the difference, the delta between the highest ask for asking price from a dealership yeah. and the lowest asking price. What was this, like $14,000? I don't know. Yeah, on a were... Honda Accord or something? It was nuts. Yeah. It was absolutely nuts. So it's a perfect example, for example. You have to work at it. Contact multiple dealerships. Yes. One thing we're actually bringing um, to the to the search, uh, that's uh, okay, vehicle search. One thing we're actually bringing, it should be out in a couple of weeks here, um, nationwide search. Right now it's 500 miles. Nationwide should be out, honestly, hopefully next week. Wow. Um, and the other thing is in transit. So we're going to be able to let you filter by vehicles that are in transit to a dealership. How are you going to know? I can't tell you on there. I can't tell you on there. A little proprietary. Oh. little little proprietary also. You know what I'm saying? All of a sudden, they got an accident. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> yeah. It's a little uh, proprietary uh, also. <laughs> I don't feel good about it. Okay. But I did it. It happened. So we move on. Okay. In transit, we're gonna be able, you're gonna be able to filter by vehicles that aren't even on the dealer's lot. You'll be able to filter them and see what's in transit. <clears throat> Pretty cool. Cool. All right, we've got um, Brad asking for advice on buying a 2022 Hyundai Sonata Hybrid. Probably the same old. Contact yeah. multiple dealerships. Yes. Um, yeah. Do you do you need it or do you want it? There's if that. You, if you want it, wait. Kenny, looking for some insights on how EV tax credits work. Kenny, we've got an article back on the YA blog all about EV tax credits. So just search Google search EV tax credits, join YAA.com. You'll be able to find that. Empire Foundation, find a public auto auction in your town that's also attended by dealers like in America's auto auction. <laughs> I think one of the challenges there is you need a dealer license, correct? Uh, well, not a, not necessarily a public auctions, no. Okay, and what are public auctions? Public auto auctions are just that. They're open to the public. They're open to anybody to bid. But that's not normally where dealers send their good cars. Gotcha. Okay. Or even their bad cars. <laughs> <laughs> We've got from Tierra Ramon here. I'm in the market for the new unreleased Kia. Is it best to wait until next year or this summer fall when it's set to release? If this is the EV6 that you're alluding to. You're going to be waiting for a while. Uh, Tierra, the stories around the EV6, people yeah. trying to purchase them, it sounds like it's hell on earth. And I'm not trying to be... Um, Sometimes people on YouTube say things like in a, in a way yeah. to like, like, let me find it really quick. Um, Jalopnik. Yeah, there was an article about it just recently. Yeah, it was. And, and um, yeah, I mean, you literally can't make this stuff up. The headline from Jalopnik, Kia dealers are going to kill the EV6. A combination of markups, hurdles, and a general lack of interest in selling Kia's new EV could spell doom in the long run. I'll toss this in the chat, but essentially it like, documents the story of someone trying to actually buy test one? drive and buy yeah. an ev6 yeah. and just how impossible it is because the Kia dealers just aren't interested in in um, in really facilitating that in a way that's that's helpful to the customers that's consumer friendly which is why which yeah. is why dad yeah um yeah. Hyundai, hyundai join yaa memo let's see if i can just pull it up come on baby yeah yeah this which is why hyundai yeah. and genesis and kia issued a stark a stark warning to their dealers saying don't mark don't mark our cars up don't lie about prices i'm right, not going know. there right, yeah. <laughs> just you know, i don't hear the horse neighing behind the screen it's all good yeah um steve-o dealers like to keep cars on their website even after they've been sold that's what we're working on with the in transit filter that you'll be able to use um I don't know what that name is. So it looks like now is a good time to buy because it's just going to get worse with availability. Yeah, I think so. That's my I, assessment. I, yeah, I mean, with what's going on in the greater world, as Zach would say. The greater world. Thank you. It's a very yeah. common phrase. Yeah, it is now. Erica if it wasn't a before tonight, it, is, it will be by the Papaya end of this All yeah. right, Erica's got a question. If you were yeah, leasing... Like Prosecco? I don't know, man. Okay. Um, would you extend your lease or buy a new car now? The leases are so expensive. Uh, well, Erica, if it were, here, here's the thing on leases at the oh. moment. The residual value for your car, if you leased the car three years ago, will be probably somewhere between 30 to 40% below that vehicle's current market value. So the amount that you can buy it for, the contractual amount that's spelled out in your lease, the residual value would would allow you to be able to buy your current vehicle for probably 35% below current market value. Um, sounds to me like that would be the car to buy. And, and even if you want to buy it just so you can turn around and sell it, um, whatever profit you make, 
if you divide that by the term that you had the lease, you substantially reduced the cost of that lease over that term. And we've got from like Kevin here. Yeah. I just bought the cheapest 2019 Tucson in the country. It's the one I leased. In- <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and Kevin, yes, because you bought it at the residual value. Yeah. And you could turn around and you can sell it and you can make a small fortune. Yeah, honestly, yeah. that's the reality yeah. here. All right, let's come back over here to the chat. Hello, all. How's everyone doing tonight? I think we're good. Oh, well, okay. We're doing good. Yeah. We've got uh, Uncle Kenta. What? YAA Live? Woo? Nonsense. Click and clack radio show. How I love to talk. Uh, have I loved to talk show as much? As awesome and informative. You two crack me up. Great sense of humor. Your dad is awesome, Zach. You are blessed. This well, is a yeah, paid, would, this is a paid would, sponsorship. Yeah, right I now. would agree with that. I am awesome, and you are blessed, and I don't think you appreciate it enough. Can you toss your headphones on? Uh, No, they're way over there. (laughs) You got to help me. (laughs) Yeah, pick a good one. Chips ahoy! Chips ahoy! Yes. Is that your way of saying, I think you're awesome, Dad? You are so awesome, Dad. Thank you. It's pretty incredible <laughs> that we get to do this. All right, Brad donated and asked us yeah. about the 2022 Hyundai Sonata Hybrid. I mean, legitimately, it's like looking for days on market for anyone that's in yeah. inventory. Uh, it, it, you can't factory order a Hyundai. They're tough to find. And, and, and you know, there's, there's – I'm trying to think of a nice way to say this. There's, 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 there, there's a – a lot of Hyundai dealerships out there that have not practiced um, good. Yeah, Hyundai's the one that we were just referring to in the news with the issues about markups and yes. bait and switch pricing. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, let's see if we can help Brad really quick, actually. Then. Okay. So now, Brad, for a dollar ninety nine, you piqued my son's attention, and he's going to do what he can for you. All right, so Brad, here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to go to dealership reviews, yeah. justice. So 155 reviews. So we, what we need to know is where Brad lives. Yeah, because Brad, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here. <clears throat> so we've got from other YAA members, whoops, multiple Hyundai dealerships. We've that got people have five, said nice things about exactly one in Alabama, yeah, one in Minnesota, one in Oklahoma, one in Texas, one in Washington. Yeah, God, I hope you live in one of those five states. And just to be just to be clear here, yeah. so like. We don't. We don't know. We don't know these dealerships from Adam. The only thing that we know about them is YAA members went there. Yes, and had a good experience and, and wrote, wrote about, about it. it. Yeah, and 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 think about this. I mean, literally, I was in the retail automobile business for forty three years. So take a screenshot of that, Brad. And and I used to say to my salespeople when I would get a, a really nasty letter or email from a customer, who the hell was writing you letters? Well, you know, I go back 43 years. People wrote letters back then, okay? It was it was before email and you push a button that somehow makes it to your computer <laughs> or your smartphone. And and I used to look at the salespeople. I, I go, do you have any idea, any idea how bad you have to piss somebody off that they would then think it's in their best interest to spend a half hour venting and writing to the people uh, that you work for. I mean, you've got to work really, really hard to piss people off that much. Definitely. Okay. Well, the same holds true for... Might even be stronger for writing a good review. To get people to write a good review, to get people to write nice things about you. Um, So if somebody took the time to write something nice about a dealership, the dealership really had to go out of their way to make enough of an impression for somebody to say, I'm going to invest a half hour of my time yeah. to, to share this experience with others so that hopefully they can have the same type of experience. Exactly. Yeah. And, and again, that's like the best that we can do in a situation like that is yes. helping you. Love seeing comments like these. Thank you, Erica. Thank you for being a part of our community. Um, all right. Let's keep going through questions that are coming through here. So Amy says, when you buy a CPO, a certified pre-owned vehicle, is it justified or fair for them to ask you to pay a certification fee or should it already be built into the price? It should already be built into the price. Now, there's several different types of, of certified pre-owns. There is, there is the branded factory certified pre-owned. Um, and that's for, like the one you want if you're doing yes. a CPO. Yeah. Uh, you know, you can go to a used car dealer and they go, oh yeah, we sell certified pre-owns. They're not a factory dealership. It's, it's just third-party CPAs. Yes, which is not 
the same quality of of uh, warranty associated with it as would be with the factory programs. Yep. Um, and you should never be asked to pay for it. It should already be factored into the selling price of the vehicle because it's a cost. Yep. And and the dealership bases in many cases what they're asking for a car based on what they own the car for, based on their expense in the car. Definitely, definitely. Yes. All right. Sorry, I got distracted because I accidentally pressed the Siri button. But I want to pull something up. Oh, really what quick. did Siri say? I don't know. Mm-hmm. I want to pull something up really quickly. Yeah. Prashant says, my Honda dealer is selling me an extended warranty on a CRV hybrid, nine years, 75,000 miles for $1,800. Is this a good investment or what will be fair value to be paid? And then we got to jump back to the chat. But Prashant, yeah. the reason I pulled this up. Yes. Man, oh, man. It comes out. Arash told me tomorrow potentially, but what I'm pulling this up for is if you like go to our listings right now, yes. here you go. Find a 2019, for example, Honda CRV. You can scroll down and see yeah. how much it would be from YAA. Okay, that's for 72 months and 150 thousand miles. Make that. Yeah, but but it's a hybrid. She was talking about. I know, but I'm just showing you. You can like you can come on here and you can see what it would cost, or you can just click on extended warranty and request a quote. Okay, but anyway, the reason I bring that up, Prashant, is like do that. Pretty please. Pretty please do that before you just agree yes. at the dealership. We want to help you out there. But that. Yes. The Crow sent us a $20 super sticker. The Crow. The Crow sent us a $20. You know, can I say something? That's I, the I, whole show. All we do is talk. I woke up today. I'm glad and you I did. Said, and I, me too. And I said, you know, nothing, nothing could make my day more than seeing a correspondence from The Crow. And you think we're crow, pronouncing it right? And the crow. The crow. The crow. The crow. Made my day. Um, and I can buy lunch tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Crow. Or Mrs. Crow. The crow. Thank the you, crow. the crow. The crow. We really appreciate yes. your kind yes. contribution. Yes. I've got plenty of chats uh, queued up here, but I also, Casey. Casey. With a $20 Canadian. And you know us. I'm going to pull this right back up, yeah. Casey. Give me one yeah. second. Give me one second. But you yeah. know what I'm interested in. CA to USD conversion. Yeah. Then YouTube takes like their their like 60% yeah. to 1578. Okay, there you have it. But then times what YouTube gives us, which is like 0. 0.4. Wow. I mean, so we're making like six bucks here. Well, thank Let's you. give her some advice. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, hey, yeah, you know, an egg McMuffin sounds like breakfast. <laughs> All right, I'll do it inside, Casey. How can we help yeah. you? Let me pull this yes. up. I've been told I can't factory order a 2021. Is that true? Any tips on negotiating below MSRP? Thanks to you guys, I've been able to properly negotiate vehicles alone as a woman and spot bad deals. Sending love from Canada. First, I just want to say, yeah, like high five. We love hearing stories like these because yes. uh, it is you experienced it more than I had. Uh, yeah, going in as a single woman, like, kudos to you, Casey. Glad yeah. that we've been able to yeah. help. Can yeah. you negotiate, or excuse me, can you factor order a no. 2021? Right? No, because they're not producing 2021s anymore. They're only producing model year 2022s. So that's why you can no longer order a 2021. Um, the the uh, production period for those passed already. And I can actually pull up some data here if you give me one second, Is Casey. Is it data or data? So Four Eyes, which is an industry, <clears throat> excuse me, an industry marketing firm uh, in automotive, they have this awesome uh, data library that we like yes. to reference. So here's U.S. auto inventory levels broken down by model year. Yes. So you can see this line is going to be your 2021 models. Yes. On the lot, and, and you can just see it. it's like a downward. Yeah, well, of course, it's you know. So your likelihood that you're going to find anyone's going to be like, yeah, you know, we can. It's going can. to be tough to find any leftovers, but it is it impossible is, to yeah, order. It, it is not possible to order. Now, getting below MSRP, we have seen plenty of factory yes. orders in this market on new 2022s yes. that you get below MSRP. Yes. If it's a vehicle that's on a dealer's lot, it's kind of like what we were describing with Pill earlier. It's finding the right dealership, getting quite yes. close prices. Yeah. And last time I checked, you don't have quite as many dealerships in Canada as we have here in the States. No, which may make the monopoly effect yes. even harder. Um, yes, but Casey, that being said, we have plenty of YAA members who are in Canada. So yes. post on the community forum and ask. Yeah, it doesn't hurt to ask. And where in Canada are you? Yeah. Because be- because um, Zach's sister, my daughter, God bless her. I mean, she spent uh, three and a half years in Montreal at uh, McGill University. Completely, completely, yeah. uh, completely agree. Well, only because it's agree. true. How can you not agree? Bravo, Tube. Yeah. $5. Thank you so much. Thank the you. Best option for a deal after my current lease, Palisade. 
Telluride, or wait for the up, up and coming, upcoming, excuse me, Mazda CX90. Getting your hands on a Palisade Telluride is going to be hard in this market. I'd probably wait for the Mazda. You know, and there doesn't seem, and for whatever reason, and I don't know what the reason is, but there doesn't seem to be, as as a collective group of for Mazda dealers, to be uh, charging additional dealer markup to the degree that the Hyundai and Kia dealers are. Yep. No, I Hyundai mean, and we, Kia have been more Yeah, and, and we hear often about, uh, you know, your your Mazda dealers where you're able to go in and, and, and pay MSRP and get a, get a Mazda where, you know, if you wanted to get a Palisade or a Telluride, you know, they want five, 10, 15, $20,000 over sticker because, well, we can ask. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Mazda doesn't seem to be quite as bad. Okay. Lots of chat messages that we could get through here. Pops Casey, by the way, is in Ontario right I, now. I've heard of Ontario. I have too. Yeah. Yo, Mar, shout out to you. Just leased a 2022 Mercedes GLA under MSRP, all thanks to YAA. Do you think that's that's uh, that's worth it? Um, Should we toss one out? Yeah, yeah. Boom. Boom shakalaka to Yo, Mar! Okay, we've, we've been needing new ad libs, and you are just a machine. So that happened at the 41-minute mark of the stream. I am going to clip that. Thank you, sir. Turbo from Connecticut. <laughs> says whoa what the hell was that i don't know my girlfriend just texted me oh really um okay <laughs> she's leaving soon <laughs> don't text me i'm on a show yeah. all right turn over from time to make a statement yeah. all channels that are car consumer advocates like yeah the fastest growing swedish automotive brand should yeah. collaborate and tell all who are watching to not buy a car for the month of say june hey all i'm saying is we own the domain name stop <laughs> buying cars.com just saying we've been saying it we've been saying it week in week out month in month out you know and 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 yeah i don't know how to get everybody together ruben says shout out to justice he yes. helped me trying to get a hyundai santa cruz but the dealer was being dishonest so i left lol ruben good on you yes. for getting out of a bad situation and kudos to justice and the team again if you want to become a, if, if, you, if you want to feel confident going through your car buying journey, yes, please, please, please. We also recently opened up the phone lines. You can actually just call us now and get car buying advice. Really? And Dude, we're trying, man. When do you share with me? Uh, really? When we're on these shows. Okay, good. Perfect. Again, we should do membership. more frequently then. Plans and pricing. Yeah. 20 bucks a month or or 100 bucks a year. Become a YA member, the coaches. Phil, Mario, just can't thank you guys enough yeah. for what you do to help make sure that we're supporting people through this incredibly challenging time to buy a car. Steven's got a question. Yes. Plan to do a manufacturer order Dodge Challenger when it's the best time to start engaging dealers, when I have the down payment or when I'm almost reaching the savings for the down payment? Well, <laughs> truth be told, I, you know, I, I would just think hmm. that uh, if you're going to order the car, I have no idea what the what the time frame is from order to actually taking delivery of the car you know it would not surprise me if it was two to three months from the time you place the order to the time you might see the car so uh where will you be two to three months from now will you have all your down payment together because if you will then i i think i would start engaging dealers now well said pops I don't know if it was well said. It was said. All right. We've got here. Remember Kevin earlier talking about buying his Tucson? When his lease expired, he bought it for 10000 less than the cheapest listed Tucson for sale in the country. A perfect example. If you have a lease that you can buy right now, still just buy Who's it Who's got out. a mini lease coming to, say, December 28th? You're going to flip it into a full-size van? I, I With the profits I'll make buying that car and then selling it, I might be able to afford a full size vehicle. Yeah, you're, 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 you're right <clears throat> but about that. I mean, I, you know, I'm thinking to myself, well, what am I going to do? Well, you know, what what will probably make the most sense is for me to buy the car because I can buy it at, at 30 to 40 You're going to take your own advice? You know, I figure if I, you know, if, you know, you know, I used to have a green, a British racing green clubman with a white roof. Uh -huh. I love the car. I hated the color. Okay. Excuse me. But I took the color because that was all 
we had at the time. And I used to tell my salespeople and I used to tell the customers directly, you know, it's great that you have a particular color in mind, but don't get so set in color that you won't settle for a slightly different color because yeah. you can get a better deal. Yeah. Okay. Well, I figured if I kept sharing that advice with customers, I needed to follow that advice. So I ended up with a British racing green with a white roof and mirror caps. Um, and I drove that car for three years. I hated that color. I literally hated the color, but it He's was a man too, of his word. It was too good of a deal to pass up. So yes, I took my own advice and, and uh, unless something strange happens, I'll be taking my advice again the end of December and buying my car because by the end of December, that three-year-old mini might have, might have 18, 19,000 miles on yeah, it. Of course, you're, you're going to buy your lease just like the just like you recommend everyone on yeah, the show. Yeah. We've got an interesting comment here from Erica. I'm yeah. worried if I buy my lease car now for under market value, it was in an accident, all repaired, but value yeah. will be significantly less in the future versus a new car and hold it for five years or something. Kind of interesting when you've got that type of dynamic. That could that could sway some of your decisions. Yes, but I would I would I would try to, you know, a lot of the manufacturers, the captive lenders won't allow a third party payoff. You have to be that branded dealer to be able to make the payoff or the customer buying the car. Uh, so if you're looking at the same brand of car, then approach dealers about doing it as a trade-in as opposed to a lease turn-in. And so that that way, or, or, or go to several dealers yeah. and have them bid on it because they exactly. want good used cars. Exactly. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah. I just got a mini Clubman, Ray. Mario, <laughs> I am sorry that I never shut up during our team meetings. We had a team meeting today. Well, way to go, to... Mario. You should, have, you should have led the meeting off with that, Mario. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. That's yeah. Awesome. What color did you get, Mario? Mine is moon, is Moonwalk Ray. I love it. With the <laughs> you just got so in, excited. Indigo, You're so uh, cute. I am cute, thank you. You really are. Well, yeah. Which leads me. I'm okay. excited for Mario. There's a bunch of chat messages that we're going to respond to here, but first, what the hell is that? First, yeah. If you are not following us on Instagram, you're better off. This is the content you're missing. <laughs> Your Advocate Alliance. Yeah. I am at Shevska. My dad is at Raz's Jazz. Yeah. Do I look like a grandpa with my beard? Zach says yes. I don't see much of a beard. I think I'll just shave the shit off. So you can't curse all the live streams. Wow, that's really pathetic. It, it's it's not good. No, it's not. And the fact that you close your you have long eyelashes. No, well, I can grow eyelashes. I just can't grow a beard. <laughs> oh man, I guess I'm shaving them more. Your advocate alliance again. I am at yeah. Chef's Gun. Then pops. You are at yeah. You're at Raz's Jazz. Yes, I am. I am indeed, and in fact, Raz is jazz. Anyway, okay, there's the, the brief plug for our Instagrams. Okay, we've got lots of chat messages. Let's go through them. Mark, how do I donate? I think there's a donate button. I, I, I don't know. We don't I, know. <laughs> no, that, actually, to be clear, I've actually donated to um, uh, the Chevy Dude and yeah. the Car Care Nut on, yeah, their, on yeah. their streams. There's a little AMD. dollar. Yeah. AM, yeah, AMD makes great yeah. content. There's a little dollar sign icon Somewhere. you can click on. I don't, I don't know how. Oh, hey, Khalid, he yeah, donated to us. We really so appreciate it. Would love advice. Found a couple dealerships that order at MSRP. Would okay. you all do a CRV or RAV4 one month wait or wait nine months for the ID4? I'd probably take uh, those are very different options. Yes. Um, if it was me, I'd probably take the Toyota. Just get something reliable. Well, so is one the CRV. Things, yeah, I would go for that. Yeah. I'm just saying my two cents, I'd do yeah. the RAV4. One thing you don't think about. Yeah. With the uh, with the ID four and other yeah. electric vehicles, and yeah. Justin did a great job. Yes, uh, documenting this is going to be the uh, maintenance costs. Yes, associated with EVs. Yes, I don't know. I'm kind of in the camp where I I just get the Toyota. It's going to be cheap. It's going to be reliable. The tires, man. Tires on an electric vehicle. People don't think about this right here. Electric vehicles are very heavy. Popular electric crossovers like the ID four and Tesla Model Y weigh as much as a heavy duty pickup truck. Many EV owners report needing new tires every 20,000 miles. Wow. Justin wrote this awesome, kudos to you, Justin, awesome article about electric car maintenance, uh, the pros and cons of, of EVs versus- Yes, people uh, have, you, you, there's things that you don't think about. Did you know that there is a 12-volt battery in your EV, just like the same 12-volt battery in your in your Mini? Pretty cool. You don't think about this yeah, stuff. Yeah, no. You figure the whole damn car is a battery. Exactly. Why does it need another battery? Anyway, I'll toss that in the chat for you, Khalid, because I think that's a consideration- as you're navigating this process. All right, let's see here. We've got from Salty Apostle. Hello. Apostle. 
a pasto, a pasto loso. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait. To Arrivederci. We're gonna send you to Italy, buddy. I'm trying See, to go. To, I'm trying to go to Greece. Man. I've heard that. I want to go to Greece. I send you stuff about places to go. Thank you for for saying hello, salty. Yeah. Um, all right, we've got from Catherine. Yeah. Infinity QX60 versus Acura MDX versus Genesis GV70 GV80. We got to review the Infinity QX60 and the Acura MDX. That would be helpful for this. Yes. So well, I guess just based on my my knowledge, I'll say the, the, the Genesis. I like the Genesis. Um, I like the Acura. Yeah, I know you do. The driving yeah. feel, the Acura, the, the infotainment. Um, yeah. we, we, had, we, we had owned a number of MDXs. And I don't know where you live, but those were great vehicles for us in the winter time. Yeah. Uh, the all-wheel drive version really, really works. Um, very comfortable cars. Um, the Genesis, I was very, very impressed with the Genesis when we drove one. But I, I do know for a fact that the Acuras tend to have higher resale value and hold more of their initial purchase price better than the Hyundais do. Amy says, you are just real. He is fake. Watch me punch right through him. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no, you know, some of, some have said I'm a real something hole, but that's besides the point. <laughs> DGO, good evening, gentlemen. Got the scat pack and the avatar. You helped me so much. I just ordered a 2022 Dodge Charger scat pack wide body for 4000 under MSRP. You guys are the best. I think that's going to get. Oh, my God. that That's like a double-barreled Ray Shefska stamp of approval. And oh. that's even going to get the sound effect. Yeah. Well, I can't hear it. You can hear it. Yeah, I don't yeah. need it. Just no, come really. closer. Just come closer. I, I don't. This. <laughs> come cl come Just closer. Do the sound effect, okay. damn it. All right. All right. Sorry. Bye. Jeez. Which one is it? Okay. Uh, Ray Shevska. Step. I'm up. Over. Kind of hurt my head when the phone hit me. Well. Then you yelled at me and I got embarrassed. Okay. Um, <laughs> Again. <laughs> There's Ruben. Um, Tim, waiting yeah. for my Bronco to get off the chip hold, looking at the extended warranty from YA. Can you explain your warranties? Tim, most people think warranties are scams, so I'm not going to take up a bunch of people's time on that. That being said, yeah. what I will direct you to is we are super transparent about how we approach it. So if I'm going to pull up this screen, extended warranty, we literally tell you not only how much money we make when we sell one, yes. who we sell. You can view the contract right here. The literal contract? The literal contract. Spells out everything? Everything. It's right here. So so take a peek there, Tim. Our whole thing is transparency and honesty about this. Um, and you can meet with Miss Kimberly Klein, or we have another woman on our team named Candace. Yes. Yes. Um, you can meet with either of them. You can even schedule an appointment right here. There's no more appointments for February because well, that was today. February is pretty much Done. So you can literally schedule an appointment for tomorrow or Wednesday, and you can get your questions answered. Yes. There's no strings attached. attached. All right. So and so you, you might say to yourself, well, how, how do you kids afford to do that? Well, good investors. <laughs> no, we've we've sold to date over 500 um, vehicle service contracts, extended warranties. And we've paid out to date over $25,000 in claims. Wow. Yeah. No, I mean, it's I mean, we've taken in like 700000 I mean, it's like a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah. It's sitting there waiting to be, and we made $500 on each one. So do the math. I mean, this is like, there's no smoke and mirrors here. <laughs> like, it's very, I'm yeah. proud of that. I'm really you proud of it. You should be proud of it. Damn right. Yeah. When we started this, we had zero. So it's pretty cool. All right. Um, Steven says, love watching y'all in this community. Lots of great information. Just going back. Yeah. That's the whole point, Steven. Yes. Thanks for being here. We've got from Robert. Good shows. Was able to trade in a 2020 Honda Civic SI and buy a 2022 Honda Ridgeline RTL for about 2300 under MSRP since I just bought the Civic before. The yeah. This is wow. the nicely done. It is possible. I think that is the moral of the story here. Mark, with a kind contribution. Thank you, Mark. We really appreciate that, Mark. I don't know what the super sticker was, but sometimes it's like little dance moves, but let's just do a quick little, little high five. Yeah, keeping it real in downtown Bethesda, Maryland. Our downtown studios. <laughs> These are just ad libs. I just oh, gotta be. God. I just gotta shut up. But you make the ad libs. Oh, God, I need help. Last call says, "What's the best Subaru dealership in Maryland?" I live in Cockeysville. MD. Last call. That is why we created a free form. Just post it there. Search. Yeah. All right, here we go. But Last... what's the best one? Uh, you know, I don't know. I, Fitzgerald. I, you know, when, let's see if when... there's one in the. Let's see if there's one yeah, in the dealership. I, 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 the the one in Hunt Valley is owned by Auto Nation. 
So they're going to be one price, and they're going to be they're, they're going to mark. Uh, uh, yeah, um, our donation is very expensive. Okay, just saying. Statistically speaking, they they are public company. They post yeah. what they earn. It's yeah. the most. And they demand earn a lot per vehicle. Let's see. We've got wow. We have a lot of Subaru dealerships yeah. in here. We've got we've got six Subaru dealerships. None here. We've got America. Maine, North Carolina, North Carolina, New York, South Carolina, and Tennessee. Well, can I say huh. when when we actually were were literally involved in helping people get cars. This one literally says not a brewery. What is that? Not a what? <laughs> no, it's not a brewery. Oh, okay, cool. Earl Duff Subaru, not a brewery. Not a brewery. Okay. There you go. Anyway, um, sorry. So when we uh, used to buy cars for people, yeah. When we used to help people get cars. Yeah. Um I had a very good experience with the Fitzgerald. Well, they had they offered the best pricing. There were some issues at the time of delivery, and I did have to go up the corporate ladder to get somebody involved. But I remember that. But but that somebody that got involved made it right. Um, so I I would say Fitzgerald. All right, Bob. Bob. <coughs> Bless me. you. Thank Uber you, driver Bob. here. Yeah. Car totaled by drunk driver. I'm so sorry. Yeah. yeah. Options are to rent at 300 a week until prices lower. Buy now, please. Advice. I'd probably buy right now. Um, yeah, if you're looking, I mean, you're looking for a new car, used car. I, way, I mean, I the next think, yeah. two weeks are, are probably your window. Yes. Yeah, Bob, you're yeah. going to want to look right now. Yeah. Let us help you out. Join YA. We'll uh, join the community. We'll, we'll help you out there. We've got yeah from Bird Originals. You love your daddy. Way to go. I loved my daddy too. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's you know, Eddie, and 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 I just shared this with your with your sister and huh. her husband the other day uh, at dinner. Huh. And and my father, God bless him, he had a he had a really hard time expressing his love for his children. Really? So you, yeah, that's when sad. so whenever my father would say to me, Ray, what are you a moron? I used to look at him and go, I love you too. Did Dad. did your dad ever say I love you to you? Not that I can remember. Oh, no, that's so sad. <laughs> but I do remember him asking. What are you a moron? <laughs> and I just I, I decided for my own mental health that I <laughs> needed to interpret that as his way of saying, son, I love you. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And so I used to just I used to look at him going, I love you too, Dad. Pissed him off. And you um <laughs> you lost your dad when you were how old? Uh 26, 27. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, keep yeah. keep it going, Pops, because I'm yeah. 26 right now. Yeah. We've got from Hardcore Weather, who has sold more cars, Ray or Steve Richards? That's a good question. That's a good I, – I know who's taking advantage of more people. Whoa! <laughs> Probably me. No, I don't know. I don't know who's taking advantage of people. Just yeah. a joke. Just yeah, a joke. Just, Steve, Steve's tactics are a little different than my tactics. All good. It's all good. Um, we've got And I from... don't think – and honestly, if I may. Uh, I don't think Steve and I have ever had a competition as to who sold or who would sell more cars. Yeah, of course or, not. No, I mean, we, we're both at different places in our lives and our careers. But you and, and I've talked. You've probably sold well over $100 million in cars in your career. I mean, it's not even close. Well, over $100 million. Yeah. Uh, come on. I'm, I mean, I manage stores that were doing $50 million a year in sales. Come on. More than that. You probably so, did a billion. Yeah, yeah probably. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I you saw a lot of freaking cars, man. Yeah, yeah, I have you know probably somewhere between fifty and sixty thousand. Wow. Yeah, wow, that wow, I've wow. been involved in something like that. Oh, I've got some good news, and we've got a couple more comments. You know, but but you know, no no disrespect to Steve. No, of Steve, course not. Steve Steve has developed his craft and his tools, and he's comfortable in his skin, and I develop my craft and my tools, and I'm comfortable in my skin, and I'm not trying to have any type of competition with him at all. Yeah, you're not at that phase yeah. in your life. Neil saying, Zach, I got my YAA shirt in the mail after winning the Name That Car contest from a couple weeks ago. Thank you. Look at that. Look at that. See, we actually do the things we say we're going to do. Every once in a while. DGO yeah. with a very thoughtful $20 super sticker. Bless your heart. Thank I you. think that my interpretation is that this super sticker was probably a hug. It was like, a, it was like two people hugging. No, stand up. Do I go low or do you go low? Or do we do a cross? Oh. <laughs> this is our watch. Okay. Okay. All right. I feel good. Thank you for that, DGO. <sighs> now, if someone gives us $50, I don't even want to tell you what's going to. Okay. 
Ruski says. I'll tell you right now, I'm not going under the table. <laughs> <laughs> Telling you that right now, and neither are you. I did last week. Oh, Ruski, I just joined. Why is now the right time to buy prices about to go up more? You hit the nail on the head. Thank yep. you for joining the community. Um, we've got here Chris. You guys know the industry. Keep the information flowing in the Australian work. Thank you, Chris. It's not just us. It's the whole team behind yes. the scenes. Yeah. Uh, not even behind the scenes anymore. Everyone like yeah. Justice and Phil and Mario who are here in the chat. Huge kudos to them. And then we've got Steve-O here saying, public auction in San Diego. Never seen such a collection of <laughs> roughed up turds. Yeah, yeah. So there yeah, you have proving, it. Proving much again how hard it is to polish a turd. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All yep. right. We've got our final comment of the night from our dear friend John Lynham. Oh. If you're new to the channel. Yes. John was here with us when we had five subscribers bought yeah. his Audi All Road. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Love him. Hopefully yeah. we can come up to Maine sometime and spend some time with you, John. But thank you. That is proof in the put in here. We yes. try and help people. We try and build relationships. John, thanks for stopping in. Should we let that. John know that, that that we're going to? Oh, my gosh. Okay, yeah. So my dad and I were doing um, uh, these car reads. They're these, not they're, reviews. They're, they're just ride-alongs and we talk about the yeah, car. Yeah, we're, they're, they're ride-alongs. Uh, where Zach and I drive these vehicles, and and and, and we, excited, John, and and we, you know, we share a little bit of information about the car and some of the st stats about the car, the MPG and the, mm. the base price and yeah, yeah, gross yeah. vehicle weight, we just all have that fun, nonsense. And, and but we talk a lot, and which is well, what the hell we do all the time, but you know, and we talk about the car, so so there is. I, I am not really fond. I don't get very excited about cars, cars. But the although type of, tomorrow the Chevy Corvette review Stingray will be coming out, and you liked that car, I did like that car. I was surprised how much I liked the car. Um, but the type of cars that I really like, huh. that really um, get my motor going, so to speak, are sport wagons. So um, Zach recently made arrangements we're going to be driving um on thursday morning so the yeah. video will come out in a little bit yeah next week or the following probably the most expensive vehicle i've ever sat in but yeah. a 2022 audi rs6 avant. avant um so john no offense to your all road yes um, which i love by the way but i am so excited to be getting into this avant um, the part that I'm not excited about is when Zach drives and he scares the poop out of me, uh, and he will. But it's an all-wheel drive, so I'll feel better about Look it. how planted this thing looks. Yeah, 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 yeah. So anyway, stay tuned. That's coming. Um, the other thing I was going to mention is finally, finally, yeah. any of y'all, if you, any of y'all ever want to know how freaking difficult it is, how many loopholes you got to jump through to sell um, extended warranties in the state of California. yeah. It's a total PETA, total pain in the tuchus. Yeah. Uh, but finally, last week, I got my personal insurance yeah. producer license approved in the state of California. I got my fingerprints scanned over. It was a whole- Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. And I have now applied yeah. as the designated responsible party um, for the business the so that D, we can- The DRP? The DRLP, designated yeah. responsible license party, I think oh, is okay. what it is. The DRLP. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, for the business so we can sell the YAA extended warranty in California and the markup in California, the way that it's structured, we can only make $400. Not that we can only make, we had the option through our partner. You can make 400, or you can make 1400. So we chose the 400. Anyway, if you're in California, stay tuned. I'd yeah. say we're maybe like end of this month. We'll have it total pain in the tuchus. Well, what do you mean end of this month? We're, we're at the end of the month, right? End now. of, end of March, excuse me. Oh, okay, cool. I work in my app. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So, so for those of you in California who are going to be able to buy it for a hundred dollars less than anybody else, yeah, can, feel free to just send us that extra hundy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so we buy a car and then get extended warranty. Um, you can from you, yeah, yeah, yeah. And if yeah, yeah, that's people the, do all the time. Again, we've sold five hundred and we make five hundred a pop. Yeah, do the math. We're going to Vegas, baby. Yeah, right, so here's, <laughs> he just here's, got back. From Vegas, I don't want to go to Vegas. They said, Here's the summary. Yeah. I saw a comment asking for a summary. Yeah, well, we didn't even see this coming right. Why, right now is the best time. You've got a two week window to buy a car right now if you need to. Yes. Our expectation is that prices are going to go back up. Yes, and that's not a function and that of shortages are going to increase exactly. And it's not a function of increased demand, it's a function of continued short supply. Yes, right now is your opportunity, your little window, <clears throat> and this is being influenced by. 
political events, yes. cultural events, supply chain issues, cyber attacks, the list goes on and on. But if we see a two-week window here. Yes. Potentially a four-week, but you've got a little opportunity. Okay. Um, and also just want to acknowledge something really quick that came up in the chat. Bill Rogers. Yeah. Extended warranties, no thank you. Perfectly inappropriate sentiment. We are not here to sell anything. It is an option. Please do not go to the dealership and not negotiate these things. If you want to say no to us, you say no to us. You want to say no to the dealer, you say, we want to give you an option that is That's transparent. That's all. Yeah. So, Bill, don't disagree with you at all and appreciate your sentiment here. Justice, thanks for supporting me, man. This has been a hell of an experience. And from Ryan, our last one of the night, <laughs> should you still buy if you don't necessarily need to? Just answer no. No. Paid off 68,000 miles 2016 ILX and considering an upgrade or lease. Why now? Can you elaborate? For you, it's not now. Yeah. So You don't need a car. If you need a car, if you absolutely need a car, the next two weeks could be the window of time in which to do it. If you don't need a car, you just want a car, fight your urges, keep yourself out of the market. The more people that stay out of the market – the harder it becomes for the dealers to justify the additional dealer markup, and the sooner they will stop asking for it. Right. Okay, yeah. can't miss a sales opportunity. Tita yeah. says, what are the extended warranty options for how many years? Tita, I just tossed it in the um, in the chat. You literally, we, we put your information in right here. Everything down below also tells you what's covered, what isn't covered, what it comes with, all the FAQs, and you can actually meet with Ms. Kimberly Klein or Candace on our team for free, no strings attached, just right here. So anyway, or you can even call us. I don't know if anyone's going to answer right now because I need yeah, to go I home. Yeah. Um, yeah. I hope I hope our staff isn't working right yeah, now. I hope yeah, they're, I hope I hope they're, well, they're yeah. chilling. But maybe. Anyway, so there you go, Tita. You it's can, only 5 o'clock in the West. I hope they're freaking working their tuchuses off. Yeah. I hey. hope not. Yeah. Hey, Kimberly. Yeah. All right, let's call it a night, pups. Uh, we love Kimberly. True car, is it a good choice? No. A good choice for what? <laughs> All right, let's call it a night. Uh, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. February is a wrap. Thank you so much for being here. And, and for those of you who just can't get enough of us, we'll be back on the Ray and Zach channel tomorrow at noon with news that you can use from YAA. Monday through Friday, noon Eastern, 9 Pacific. I'm the real deal, buddy.